Sport, a fiery conversation right here on the Power and Politics with my guests, Ishmael Nyaribo, Beatrice Elachi, and Joshua Kipto. Mushmo Elachi, I mean, even off here, you, you, you were talking about you know, the legal options that exist. And even when you look at you know, the evidence, because at the end of the day, the Senate, which sits as a court, relies on evidence. Yes. And on the, in this one, you know, the 67 senators will poke into every evidence available. Oh, yes. So talk, talk to us about, you talk know, the <laughs> options really for uh, the number two. You see, for me, mm. that's why I said if it was in Europe, there are some issues here where if it was a leader in Europe who would have resigned. Why? When the matter of your late brother mm. comes into play, and the law in Kenya is very clear. Mm. When you have been given the power to administer a will, you are not allowed by law to be the beneficiary. Okay. You are not even allowed to buy. You can give it to the family and now buy it from them, but not direct. So that matter, I don't know whether my deputy president looks at it and doesn't imagine this is the matter that is coming into this trial. And it's going to be very serious because people will be asking, even his people from home will be asking one question. Where are the children of the late Kashagwa, of the first wife, who is there, who used to live in the UK? Where? Where is Kashagwa and Kerigo in all this matter? Did the father say, they cannot share anything. And so you'll be questioned so hard to explain why. And so now we will have other people, like same lawyers who I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who will be now following, where is this other family, for us to head in court and now bring mm -hmm. another case. Because that's how we are as Kenyans. So I want to tell him in a very humble way, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. these issues, and I remember that is where they had an issue with justice. Um, at that time when the DCI were really following up also and he got a bit emotional and just went through with the, uh, she's one of, Esther is one of the, Lady Esther is mm -hmm. one of the best by the way in terms of issues of uh, corruption courts. And so I don't know whether he's assuming now they will go on these other matters. I am hoping he's preparing serious grounds to explain the will of the brother. Because in other words, mm. what people will be saying, so if you can do this to a brother, what about the country? How do we trust you? Because it's in family that people trust you. And I'm not saying he has done it. I am just trying to say how I wish he can explain it <coughs> better and then the sons can be there to support him and say, no, our uncle did what was right and doesn't need to be here. The lawyers can attest and they will be there. Did he, he, Maringa. Yeah, did, he, did he release his cards too soon? You know, let me say this. Mm. Uh, I think Honorable Deputy President is not that clean person. It's, we agree entirely. But uh, the charges are now mutating into something that was not necessarily among the 11 charges. It's there. And, and uh, no, there. Uh, no, I will it's tell there. you. Now, you're trying to say that Kenyans have grown to the UK standard where they will, really, <laughs> they will troll you <laughs> for being not very moral. Mm -hmm. uh, you said the I Senate mean, we, are we, very we, we, well. We, we are in this country, uh, Honorable Elachi. We are in this country. I mean, <laughs> you look at uh, Honorable Late Moy, how has he handled his family? You look at uh, the Honorable Former, former president, I mean the first president, f first president of this country, how has he handled his family? Yeah. You come to Honorable Mwai Kibaki, our late, you know, great economist. Mm -hmm. How did he handle his brother? I mean, it's all there on social media. Then you come to Uhuru Kenyatta, then now you come to the, our president. How they have handled their immediate families and brothers and sisters, it's all there. So, and you say now, fine, we are handling the DP, we are not handling the president, we are not handling the former president, and I agree entirely. But who are Kenyans? Kenyans will actually love to have a, a honest thief sitting in office, <laughs> as opposed to, your to brother? You, you are going to troll uh, the deputy president, how uh, did you handle your brother? And I am totally agreeable when it comes to, you cannot mishandle 
your late brother's family mm -hmm. and actually sitting as deputy president. My question will be, when did he mishandle the, 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 his brother's family? Was it now in the impeachment or before? The same clique of people insisted that you have to be our deputy president. So why are you conning him so that once he goes in, then you come back and actually drop him? Mm -hmm. What was the whole issue? So I think much as the Senate may not actually have the time to go into all that, let us not bring in sort of non-issues, trying to weep more emotions at this level that, mm -hmm. oh, you, you are not. So regarding Kashagwa is not that clean. I agree entirely. I agree. I agree. I mean, you are my, Beatrice, my Beatrice is worried whether I actually mean it. The no, point no, my is, only worry. Maribo, you are coming <laughs> to the point I said. My only worry. It's beyond legal. Uh -huh. My only legal. worry yeah. is he has just forgotten the Senate. And I, that's why I used <coughs> that case. Had to ensure they have impeached the deputy governor of Kisi because of mishandling the brother and the young man who was there of the sister. Mm. That's why they took yeah. him home. So, Marie, Even going further. Point, uh, just let, I know, okay. let me finish my point then. Mm -hmm. That it is a very good hearing in the Senate for us to see all these things so that this advice that he should resign today <laughs> because you want, to, you want to safeguard him so he goes to again mistreat his family or something. I mean, let's have this, the Senate hearing the matter, let the deputy president pro uh, defend himself, yeah. let us finally probably go to court, let the democratic space open up in this country. Kipto, you talk about a resignation, and even as you come in, um, he, the deputy president admitted in that you know, televised speech that he knows his work is done. He's, the reason he was on boarded is pretty much done. When you juxtapose that with the uh, uh, you know, advice you're offering on resignation, where does that leave him? Then it means if he says that his job was to, for example, he said, uh, if I remember the interview, he mentioned that he was basically there to demonize and fight Uhuru. And once that was done and they got to government, mm -hmm. uh, he was discarded. Then that should be even the basis of my advice. <laughs> so what are you still doing? Don't wait to be guillotined. Why should you be buried in one soup? Mm. Uh, look, this is someone who, uh, if you look at his meteoric rise as a politician, served one term as a member of parliament, deputy president, and at the moment captures the attention of the mountain. In a way, you would see the negative reaction that has really come strongly from the mountain. Tells you he has a following. So why would you trade off that with a view of trying to uh, whatever to be a president, the way my uh, listen, mm. the way my senior is saying, mm. Nyaribo is advising that let us run through the motion so that we have precedents for us lawyers to use and refer to. <laughs> oh, fine, and we are already doing that, and that's why there are so many court cases on the same. That's why uh, Senate has done quite a number, and I'm not saying that uh, we shouldn't have those trials. He can even wait penultimate period. Let me show you how this works. A simple proposal, run through defend yourself, go through cross-examination, re-examination, submission, just before the vote, mm. do your math. Do I have the numbers or I don't? If I don't have the numbers, throw in the towel. Everything falls in, mm -hmm. simple. And, and, and then that's when he can even mention that I, the aspect of, I feel I was used. I feel I, uh, I'm no longer needed and all that. Mm. I live to fight another day. I have done my best. In fact, he can even give a very nice rousing speech and say, look, I have defended myself before the National Assembly. <laughs> I've defended myself before the Senate. I've left it to God. The usual politician's way of now rousing the spirituality. <laughs> Lastly, which is, which is more important, what uh, Hondabobiti Zerachi was trying to bring on the table was the idea of smoking gun. When he spent a lot of time talking about the family dynamics, Kenyans love social stories. And that's why the media, whether TV and radio, what sells is social stories, Mushene. <laughs> and he got into, for me, it's a slippery slope, whereby you are opening up yourself to so many questions, so many innuendos, and the time frame being small, and again to my senior, bear with the fact that the time is small. And as a lawyer, just like when you present before a judge, you don't have the whole one week to present and present and present like the way Fidel Castro used to address the General Assembly. The judge will tell you, I'm giving you 15 minutes. So be it. Make your case. So with that, I would feel, based on that aspect, there's a danger of a cheeky senator here, there, 
opening that space where there are contradictions. And it's the emotional little social aspects that make a difference. Look at two. He, as she said about uh, Kisi Deputy Governor, do you forget that Kawira Mongaza survived on that emotional aspect of women's sexual harassment? Just that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every other thing was forgotten. But the second round when she came, that was not an issue. Yeah. Again, she couldn't survive. So, so there's a lot of dynamism around that. And that's why I say for me, I want him to have that call calculative political instinct in him. This is the point. Yes. I agree with Nyaribo for purposes of our constitution, for the purposes of testing our democracy, for the purposes of testing our systems, let him run through the course, but don't allow a vote be put. Maringa, Just uh, cut off a lot of people. For yeah. political uh, expediency, yeah. I don't think Rigati Kashawa will resign. Okay. This is not a governor's impeachment, by the way, and uh, as I said, it is a matter of who does he represent? Mm -hmm. Besides the fact that he was elected by seven point plus million voters, so of course, everybody, including Beatrice Alachi, that time refused. They rejected the results. But seven point people actually elected him and the president as the presidency. So it's not a small matter to say it's just going to be a political process and uh, probably then lawyers will fight uh, in the courts and all that. This is something bigger. There is already seismic movement around certain region of Kenya, and it is sort of affecting the other regions of the country. So whether this gentleman is actually in the end impeached, it will have serious political ramifications yeah. in our country. Let me so so yeah. whether they say he will be impeached and they are so sure he will be impeached, yes. and then, oh, it's political process, it is true. That political process seems to be fighting to bite at least from a certain section of the country. Is it a Murima problem? I mean, where does this then leave the uh, mountain with all the names that we are seeing? No, but the names are there. L mm. Let me say this. Okay. You see, the only problem with us Kenyans, and I think that's why our country hurts, mm. is because we get quickly and we decide, oh, we even forget our own history, where we've come, what we have done. We clean ourselves when we've done wrong. We pat you and say you are good. That is why we are in this mess. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good to just hold one minute and ask yourself, because these are the issues. I mean, we are speaking all this, but I'm hoping in God's eyes, the deputy president can look into his bedroom in the mirror and tell God, I did wrong here, yes. And Father, I need you this week. Mm -hmm. I did wrong here, yes. And everyone does wrong and we agree. But we agree that you do wrong and you accept and you repent. God forgives. That is what. And God forgives. But the president has not but, forgiven but him. But let me, let me say this. God <laughs> forgives and forgives when he has taken you through a fire that you have never seen. He forgives. Mm -hmm. That's why you will see the process in the Bible. It's fire. There's nothing there that you just forgive and you leave. No. Mm -hmm. But then having said that. The, replace, the possible replacement. For me, as, uh, the replacement should just go back to central. Okay. <coughs> the president, for purposes of respecting the people of central mm -hmm. and where the vote came from, it is their seat. You give it to them. Nobody will question. The, the purpose of us also learning a lesson from all this that sometimes it is good when God gives you something to get out of anger. Because I will tell you, anger is what has brought the deputy president to where he has reached. The deputy president is very lucky with one thing. During the time of Uhuru Kenyatta, we never gave the president, William Samoe Ruto, an accounting officer, a peers. No, 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 not in his docket, but he had a peers. He was even given an opportunity to have, a co I mean, everything that was on disposal. Now, in that executive order, in that executive order, yeah. which the president never enjoyed for 10 years, never. So now, all this where we have reached really is very sad that we can come and now with all this. We normally say, ukijitoa sasa ujioshe, uoge, basi utaogeshwa. Na utaogeshwa yale ujawai yona. You will be even shocked when somebody is telling you something of the time you were a DU. And you'll be wondering, oh, 
this is not part of it. But that is how it happens even in court. Yeah. People even bring, me, I remember I was taken. And I, 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 I saw many times. They, they brought me a house which they were saying it was supposed to be, which we have never bought up today in the mm -hmm. county assembly. Mm -hmm. But that time Kenyans believed that is where <laughs> I live. Kenyans believed I went for plastic surgery. Kenyans believed that I used a first <laughs> class with public resources. <laughs> and it went. So for you, when you look at all the impeachments that have been there, mm. they will go to your personal. And I am telling you, <clears throat> in this case, the case that is coming in front, and I am telling my deputy president, will be about the property of your brother. KRA will be coming in to ask the source of the money. That is now when we remember they would have <coughs> some source of where you've gotten the money. Mm -hmm. Were you paying cash or was it being transferred so that you have those tears? If it was cash, another question comes in. I mean, and I'm hoping, that's what I was saying, I'm hoping you have issues of outspans very clear, issues of Olive Gardens very clear, because that case gross violation is coming to land there. When That's you, where it yeah. will be rubbed so hard. As you come in, yes. um, what would have caused the rift between the two? Who so I'll, 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 the I'll comment on that question and two others. So the first one, what could have caused the rift? Mm -hmm. Basically, um, I suspect the deputy president moved in too fast, too quick, just like the way uh, my uh, former colleague speaks about the idea that what was the nature of the deputy presidency he had? And, and that's one thing that is being put on the feet of the president that he promised, he gave his word, that his deputy president will never be harassed and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. I feel that uh, the difference is quite small. In Kenya, deputy presidency or any deputizing in a political space does not come with entitlement. That is one lesson. Any position where you are deputizing in politics don't come with entitlement. Humility until and when you develop wings. If I'm to use the history of the seven to ten vice presidents we've had over the years, then I would compare Rigathi with the likes of uh, Jaramogi, who the moment they disagree, bolted out. And you see it was short, it, it was very short-lived. But the rest who stayed longer are those that played second fiddle, calmly, with humility, and knowing their place. That's why, for example, you had Moe Kibaki doing 10 years. You had President Moi doing more than 10 years. You had uh, George Saitoti being the longest serving, 12 to 14 years. You had Kalonzo, even though short-lived, five years, no fight, nothing. <coughs> William Ruto did mix. In the first five years, he played along nicely. And I think that's what Rigadi was supposed to do. Play nicely, be OK. And uh, if it is, as per the facts, uh, which one Rebo is saying, where you're given support by being a PS and all those, ride with us, be seen to support the agenda of the presidency. Then make your move politically in the second term, once the president now is on his exit. Mm -hmm. At least it is understandable. It is within the context that succession is here. That, for me, is where I think the rain started beating. And remember, this is a coalition of so many people. And in a way, the entry point of uh, Raila Odinga and the team uh, in this broad-based aspect quickened the demise of this relationship. Because now, Brigadier was right in saying his job was to appear to be the attack dog of the ruling uh, regime. Now, who are you attacking? The person you purported to attack is now in. So how do you recalibrate back and work with? I felt that that didn't happen. Possibly grumble, possibly fought back, possibly now it, it exacerbated the relationship that finally fell off. Mm -hmm. That's one. Two things that I need to focus our audience with as we go to the trial tomorrow. Yeah. Difficult days are ahead. Leave alone the trial uh, by Thursday, because that is well set. It will end with a vote. But what follows after that vote is where the game begins. And that's where the courts will be very critical. And that's where there's a lot of arguments and conversations. Mm. Not that the law is not clear, <laughs> different interpretation. Mm. One, once the deputy president is impeached and the president seeks to nominate a new deputy president, how does gazetteman work? Because if you look for the deputy governors, IBC has been done gazetting. And IBC has been gazetting, but on the basis there is a commission. Now, there's another quagmire. IBC is not, is not functional because there's no commission in place. There's no chair. And these are deputy president who is part of a presidency and the returning officer being the chair of the IBC. None of those people are there. Case in point, Kisi County, they had to go to court to get an order to compel the CEO, Marjan, yeah. to, to gazette. 
Gazette. the new deputy governor. Wasingishu is still in court. The deputy governor has not been sworn in, has not been vetted by assembly because of that. Now, for the deputy president, it's a whole milestone. In fact, there are counter arguments, I'm sure Nyaribo would closely identify with this, where other lawyers are arguing, by virtue, this is a presidency issue because the threshold given for president and the deputy president is the same under the constitution. Okay. Then it means it can only be the chair. Now, that has to be determined and settled by court. That's one. Keep an eye on that. Number two, courts can make a decision post the fact. They can review. That's why they have administrative review option. There's a very fierce debate among lawyers whether court can review a decision. In my opinion, yes. Nothing else their jurisdiction over reviewing. Keep an eye on that. So those are two outcomes that we'll immediately face. Mm. If the impeachment happens successfully, there'll be a challenge. All these processes will be taken to court. And by virtue, there's a three-judge bench already tells you the court is taking it seriously. Mm. Number two, there'll be a challenge about gazette men before parliament can vet. And that fight will be about IEBC, which would mean, and I predict, there will be a protracted long period of time before a successor is actually sworn in office. Because it may even force the government of the day to constitute IEBC if it goes that direction where the court says it must be gazetted by IEBC through a chair of the commission. There's no shortcut. Parliament will be recalled immediately to start again the process of constituting IEBC because there was already a panel. Mm. Lastly, which is more important, is that um, the, 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 the question you ask about replacement, I wouldn't want to be in the place of the president at the moment. Mm. It appeared so easy when, when, when this story of impeachment started. It was almost assumed that Kithure Kindiki, having been the favorite during uh, the Kenya Kwanza political negotiations to be the running mate ahead of Rigadi, the assumption has been, and it was, <coughs> that he would be the shoe-in candidate. But have you noticed hate and political, look at the hate and political activities and the dynamics shifting every day. Why? Honorable Brisa Lecha said very clearly here, that take it back to Central. When you say Central, do you mean Mount Kenya? Because Mount you have East-West. So there's a debate of East-West, mm -hmm. there's a debate of Central you Central. East -West. What? That's why you find, <laughs> listen, that's why you find <laughs> candidates from Central's name popping up. You have Anwai Guru, the governor Kirinyaga, you have governor Muranga, Irungu Kangata, you've seen the name of Ichungo floating by. Ndindi came but disappeared by virtue he didn't partake in this. Mm -hmm. So the three names have been. And something interesting to show that the names indeed are part of consideration, the media has been name dropping the names. Number two in the social media, there's been hit jobs on each other. Where Guru had to come and put a post about her journey. Mm -hmm. And then what followed was a vitriol, possibly sponsored by a purported competitor. So, and by virtue MPs will be voting. Don't forget that aspect. Actually, I empathize with the new deputy president. Because this time MPs will remind this new guy, mm. remember we chased the guy who was here. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> we have to approve you. Sasa kama uta kuwa nashika simu zetu. So, a parliament will be more empowered over the executive than it was before. Mm. Previously, you will find a deputy president who could talk down parliament. Mm -hmm. This time, it's not going to happen. You will find a deputy president who would want to be in the good books of parliamentarians. Because one, they chase the predecessor, but number two, they have okay. approved him. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Actually, the biggest headache for the president yeah. is choosing a successor. Absolutely. No, but I think uh, he has two options. Uh -huh. When they were deciding who would be the deputy president, all the members yeah. voted for Kindiki. True. So you just look at that. Mm. Or it is now for his decision to say, if not Kindiki, t I have this. As his and has some MPs have even complained about the last word. that. MPs have complained hey, hey, about let, that. Let times, get to a closing remark. times have changed. Yes. Number one, that pre-2022 deal was for that time. <coughs> and uh, Kithure Kindiki is not mm. necessarily a front runner right now. Mm. In fact, I think that Raila Odinga has come into the mix and uh, he's probably oh, uh, fronting, uh, he's yeah, probably no. fronting uh, Gladys Wanga and, no, 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 and, no. and that's a possibility, by the Th way. Those are in just fact, now propaganda in politics. Fact, in fact, there are people who are saying Raila Odinga himself no should no, be considered. No, no. So uh, my I've point declared is, candidacy for those politics of yeah, saying yeah. Mount Kenya, that is the reason why there is an impeachment today and you are still saying this is their seat so that's where the problem is so i think the pre-2022 deal mm. was a deal okay and if now they want to think about kithure kindiki actually to be a deal and the others like musela mudavadi uh, 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 must be considered but lastly we don't have an ibc like my colleague has said mm. you are still so bent to processing an impeachment through a parliament that uh, Kiptu is trying to actually imagine that they are independent, that the National Assembly was very independent in the way they voted. 
which is Why? really, uh, it's a lie. We all know How that lie? they were How totally now? influenced, they were By totally who? pushed. I mean, you, mm. Honorable Beatrice, you know very well that you were By told, who? people were called, you know, Where? you know, into meetings, they were told, this is the way to go. If not, we will remove you from the committees. I don't you know, have a I'm, I'm not saying so there was bribery. I'm not saying there was bribery, <laughs> but I'm saying. I don't have a committee. No, no, there are many. Me they were anyway. No, so True. in short, that pal the National Assembly, honestly, was not independent. So when it comes to now, uh, after impeachment, and there is no IEBC, if somebody was so worried about the nation, you would say, okay, we see that we don't have an IBC, really. Let's not subject the country into such a constitutional void and fights in court. We, we, we have the chairman has to, you know, uh, 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 gazette the, the new DP, and that, cha that chairman is not there. So I think that we take Kenyan so casual and not so serious when it comes to what will happen. Mm. And it is true. These are not, by the way, this is not fiction. Somebody will go to court and say, it is the chairman. Where is the chairman? Is there a functional IBC? So that's why I'm saying when you have a love for the country, you become tolerant, you move with the deal. And, and again, Honorable Elachi, when you agree with people, please walk the road, walk the deal. I mean, if you agree that to Kienda Pale, Sijui, it is government of shares, whatever. I mean, walk the deal. Try to eliminate a lot of excitement, but walk the deal. Don't reach in between and do what exactly the former regime did to you. Try to walk the deal, at least survive the pain until 2027. <laughs> so it is so wrong you see, uh -huh. to actually drop one party now uh -huh. and, pro and process an impeachment for him and then make him look all bad and bring out all manner of evil. Of course, if, any, if, if anyone had to uncover us, we are all evil we, in one way or the other. No, Mujibu, I agree. Get the last word, yes. I agree we are all evil. <coughs> but now let me say, it never started again. This matter started again with central people. Themselves. Themselves. No any other tribe thought. In fact, in the beginning we had said, this is not our matter. But when you come and you stand on every podium, just like the way Stinia has done, you start bringing Baba on issues <laughs> that he has no business with, and you start abusing Baba, and you start saying, why wouldn't not every one of ODM sign this thing? After being told that Baba, you know, even everyone prays for Baba to die, who they, they will wait. The 6.2 million also are people, isn't it? And they pay tax. You don't tell them that. You don't tell their leader that. And I remember telling them, you have just rattled the whole process. You have decided to take the deputy yourselves. Because instead of now looking for allies, you have decided to have more enemies than allies. People don't do that. Mm. But I think I want to finalize by saying this. Yes. It's a very difficult process. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very difficult time for our country. It is a time when I think some of these lessons we have to learn so hard, and we must ask God, a few of ourselves, mm. um, where have we done wrong that we have to go through mm -hmm. such painful processes in Kenya for the last six, seven months? Just following each other, it's not very good. And I am hoping after we have finalized everything, whatever happens to my deputy president, mm. I want to wish him well. Okay. And I want to tell him, sometimes you might feel it's a very tough process, but sometimes God wants you to reflect and remind you who he is, but also to remind yourself, where have I come from and where am I going? Mm -hmm. And maybe give you a better vision if you want to now lead, to lead in a different way. Mm -hmm. So you might be very angry, but maybe also God has, this is your process. I you know. must go through it. You must go through With it. reasons. Oh, okay. But it's only God who knows those reasons. My party is So I wish him well. I yes. wish him really well. Just one comment, we because I know our time, time is up. Not yeah. more than 30 seconds. My okay. parting shot would be, there's a scenario that we also, that's why I say it's a difficult time for the country. If by any chance the court quashes the decision yes. under review, you will be facing a case of constitution winning mm. because all the arms would have made their say, but a governance crisis okay. because you have an irretrievably broken relationship uh -huh. between the president and the deputy and you wouldn't want a three-year brinkmanship at the helm of the executive. So it would be better that this process be decisive, mm. all arms to play their role, legislature is doing their bit, 
then the role will come for the judiciary. Mm -hmm. Executive will equally play their role when it comes to the issues I raised about IABC, uh -huh. nomination, and all those kind of things. So that the constitution wins, but at the same time, yeah. to have a decisive decision. Okay. That is important. That I think they important. can still agree. What's okay. a big deal? We can still agree. They can still agree. Uh -huh. Miracles happen. <laughs> Miracles happen. Uh, Judy Chabet, you say on X, we have faith in our Senate. Given today's ruling of Kericho Governor, we hope they will handle the Deputy President's impeachment motion impartially. That is on X, formerly Twitter. Uh, someone says, tell Lachi, you still remember what you said in Bomas regarding the impeachment? Well, let me say this today. <laughs> it is very wrong mm -hmm. that I can start a sentence and say, watcher. Mm -hmm. I paused because TJ was speaking in his mother tongue, and the only misfortune I did was to proceed bigger and to say again, watcher, and everyone has an opinion. How come nobody picked the last sentence? Mm. How come you just picked bigger? Yeah. But I have said this in God's eyes. Yeah. If I ever said that to Morara to be beaten, then I know in God's eyes I have something to answer. Uh -huh. But if Morara and team did it deliberately, by December, God also answers. What a way to wind up the show tonight. I've been speaking to Ishmael Nyaribo, an advocate of the High, of, High Court of Kenya, Beatrice Elachi, Member of Parliament for Dagoretti North, as well as Joshua Kipto, former Speaker, Nandi County Assembly, and also an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. We thank you for your splendid company and for your tremendous feedback. That's all the time we had for right here on The Daily Report. My name is George Maringa. On Sign Language Interpretation has been Rhoda Nyamaya. I also thank the crew behind the scenes also for the wonderful job they've done to bring you this broadcast. As always, stay safe and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night from Nairobi.